Television. The Blood Bowl channel is happy to bring you this match, which, if it lives up to expectations, should be a real humdinger, shouldn't it, Jim? Hi, Bob. Hi, everyone. My answer would be like every Blood Bowl match. Blood, sweat, tears, a bull, apothecaries on standby. What more can you ask for? Oh. Two teams of the same race confronting each other today, Bob. I should make for an interesting game. I bet that hurt. Good job his nose got in the way. Yeah, otherwise he'd have got it full in the face. That's one regulation clobbering. Oh, no, another one who actually plays the ball. Ah. Oh, idiot, get off the pitch. If you can't take a little block like that... Maybe they'll never play Blood Bowl again. Good. I've got better things to do with my time. Fortunately for that player, medicine has come on leaps and bounds since your days, Bob. I hope so, Jim. Yes, I hope so. Do you think he'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. The player has got the ball, and now he's the main target. Run, baby, run! Not far to go! They can start to move forward! What finesse! What style! What perfection! What a hammer blow! He sent him down for a chat with the Astro Granite. Clean take up there! Nothing to say! And I don't have any remark to add, my friend! Hair products, check. Scantily clad players, check. If I didn't know better, I could have mistaken these for an Amazon team, Bob. Don't be silly, Jim. I don't think I know anyone that fears an elf. That's true, Bob. Now, there's an acrobatic routine worthy of a gold medal. Yes, it's nice to see an uppercut followed by a double backflip. <laughs> Ouch! Have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. It's a catch. Now this player just needs to survive. It's not exactly difficult to throw a ball forward. Yeah, but if you're blind, how do you know what forward is? The pitch is no place to lie down for a sleep. Well, after an uppercut like that, he doesn't have any choice. And don't forget, children, don't try and do this at home. Remember, these are seasoned professionals. Well, one of them is anyway. <laughs> Look, ready to score. Unless a man climbs down from the stand for a block, Bob. Coach must have dug deep to find the money to hire this star player. They better win, or the fans will be digging deep to bury him. How would you sum up that first half, Jim? Well, you only have to see the dour looks on the faces of the orthopedic surgeons and dentists to realize that it lacked any real action. be an important pass. Blood Bowl players are getting more like their Albion League cousins every day. That wasn't a light touch that put him down, Jim. That was a solid shot to the back of the neck. Incoming! Well, it is a violent sport. He made picking that ball up look easy. Yes, they're gonna score. Hold me back, Jim. I feel like <laughs> going down there and joining in. 
The opposition will have to get out the grape shot if they don't want to see them disappear over the horizon. Players are positioned and we're off. The referee's guild has decided to hire a bodyguard for each game. Another brilliant idea. And just how effective will one bodyguard be against a stadium full of supporters? True. Could be a bit one-sided. As they look up at the scoreboard, they must realize that they have a daunting task before them. Two minutes. It'll need more than a miracle. But whether he survives that injury or not, the team's insurance premium will be rocketing. <laughs> Ah! Looks like they definitely want to hammer home the point. Don't hit me, don't oh, hit me. Uh, oops, I, I'm sorry, that's an old reflex on hearing the starting whistle. He's spreading the ball around. Great control. Yes! Ouch! Oh, he's knocked them senseless. You're assuming then that he had something between his ears to begin with. This player needs some time to get his senses back. What a coward. Get up, loser. The ball is in his hands. Looks like the star player has taken a sudden interest in the state of the pitch. Well, someone will be taking a sudden interest in his head, if he doesn't come round pretty quickly. Well, that'll keep him quiet for a while. Yeah, he's just stunned, not dead. In a game as physical as this, the player is really in the right place. Exactly. It's really ugly. Funny how his head went one way and the body the other. Uh, must have an elastic jaw. The bench seems to be in two minds about what to do about the player lying prone on the pitch. Yeah, they don't know whether to send on a stretcher or a coffin. Today's insight comes from Jaime Schnibel, coach and owner of the Goblin Lowdown Rats team. In yesterday's Spike magazine, he said that Blood Bowl was like war. No winners, just survivors. Oh, that's deep. About as deep as his team's position in the rankings. I hope they've got a decent set of spare limbs to patch him up. They'll be needing more than limbs, Bob. More than limbs. Do you think he'll be able to get up after that blow, Jim? Oh, yes. He's not the sort to stay down. Ouch! Have a nice sleep. Little baby gets his medicine and he's having a little nap. I have never seen such a defeat. You don't remember when the Halfling Reserve Team was forced to play against the Chaos All-Star? Oh, yes, that was fun. Talk about a one-sided match. Did they send out the reserve team by mistake? Tiddlywinks world champions, more like it. My gut reaction would be that without the ball, it's impossible to win a match. Give me some notice if your gut reaction goes any further. You're right, though. Possession is key to victory. MVP looks great on a CV, 
But what really counts is for the team to win. Well, he did his best, but it just wasn't good enough. They defended high up, keeping the opposition to their half of the field. Looks like several players are well worked up. Oh, yes. Didn't notice anything special. He's a typical example of RPBA. Ref paid to do bugger all. Yes. They could have got away with murder out there today. They did. 